and Oklahoma Sooner legend and NFL number one draft pick returning home. Uh, Troy Aikman sat down with KOCO5 today and our own Mark Rogers was there. Mark's with us now. Mark, you guys talked a lot of football. <laughs> We did. Troy's in town promoting a joint venture with Capital Distributing featuring a tasty, healthier, light beer. Troy played 12 years for the Dallas Cowboys and has now been an analyst almost double that length of time. And no doubt he is headed into the football, football Hall of Fame in that role as well. Probably more. Yeah, no, I, I'm really fortunate. I thought when I got into it, I'd do it for a few years till I figured out what I was going to do. And, and there were stretches. It's, it's not the same as playing. And you don't get the same adrenaline rush as you do being on the field. Uh, and I struggled with that for a good part of my career. I would say probably through the first 10 years. But, but since then, uh, I, I now have a much better feel for when I think I did my job well or we covered the game well. And uh, I'm enjoying it as, as much as I ever have. The Dallas Cowboys were summarily dismissed in the first round of the playoffs this year, but one of the best moments of the season had to be the long anticipated induction of Jimmy Johnson into the storied Ring of Honor at Texas Stadium in the Hall of Fame. We all knew and that that Jimmy deserved to be in the, the ring of honor and, and Jerry knew that as well and you know their differences and whatever kept him from getting in uh, but there was thought that he would never get into the Pro Football Hall of Fame uh, because he hadn't coached long enough uh, but once that happened then I thought well maybe the ring of honor is not going to be as big a deal to him but I was wrong it, it maybe meant more to him and you know, I think the, the as much as he meant to those teams and the success of that run of the 90s, now for future generations to walk into AT&T Stadium and look up in the rafters and see Jimmy Johnson's name, I, I, that goes a long way. I know it means a lot for me to be in. I spoke with Troy about his relationship with Toby Keith, Coach Switzer, and how he keeps himself in such good shape at the age of 57. We'll have more of that coming up tonight at 10.